Internet. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Zen Pop Box unboxing video and I'm pretty sure this is the August box. And I'm only guessing because there's actually a number 8 here and I'm pretty sure this means it's August. But let's find out. Um, yes, August Summer Festival. I love the summer festival celebrations that was happening throughout August. I mean, partly it's because I was playing Animal Crossing, so every um, weekend there was a fireworks celebration, and it just made me really wish I was in Japan. Okay, great. I'm really excited to check this one out. Wow. All right. So we've got this pencil. Oh, it's so pretty. There's like glitter all over it. To be all right. I'm not going to sharpen this. I actually keep this in a stash of pencils I have. Surprisingly, I do use pencils quite a bit, even though I like mechanical pencils. There's something about like the organicness of wooden pencils that I just you can't replace that. And then we've got a brush pen here, and I'm not. Is this a lid? Uh, okay, cool. I think I was just looking there, like lids that you would normally put on pencils, because you know pencils don't normally come with lids. Um, Okay, cool. It's just from a, oh, all right, this makes sense. It came in a set and it's just kind of broken apart. Oh, you can actually use it to lengthen um, the, let see, you see, just bring it up closer. So, you know, when you sharpen pencils and they get really short, which I actually have a couple headed that way now. These are some of the pencils I've been using to do sketching and they're kind of on their way to getting pretty short now. So these you'd put at the end to lengthen their life. That's not a bad idea. I never thought of doing that. And then I guess you can stack them to make the pencil longer until you've got like just a little nib. Get the most out of your pencils. And are they all different shapes? No, I think they're all the same shapes. I think it illustrates that any shape of pencil would fit them. It's just it's like such a good idea and one that you could probably easily do with just lids you already have. But I, I don't know, just trust a Japanese company to come up with a concept like this. Yeah, it just got a little bit damaged in the mail, but that's okay. All right, I'll try this at the end of the video and let's just get on with it. So this looks like a post-it note, shaved iced post-it note. I love shaved ice. That's like one of my favorite desserts, especially so my family originally was from Singapore. And so I grew up with a lot of like ice kacang and it's like one of my favorite desserts ever. You can't find it, like you can't find good ones in Australia. At least I have not been able to find them. There are some places that sell them, but it's, yeah, it's not the same. Not the same as like when I go back to Singapore. Every time I go back to Singapore, I feel like I gain like five kilos because I just eat so much. But I love this little clear stand. That's cute. I wouldn't. I probably wouldn't keep it on my desk, but the option is kind of nice. It's very decorative. Cool. And then I think this is like another. No, I was gonna say this looks like potentially another post-it note, but it's a washi tape dispenser. Okay. Do you guys see this picture here? It basically hugs your washi tape. It's a little like. Um, slits here that allow you to hook into your washi tape and then down here is some jagged edges to uh, rip your washi tape okay <laughs> this is a really interesting idea I already have one here's one that I currently have on my desk because I use this quite I use this particular washi tape quite a lot um, and it's just a little clip on but yeah you just clip it on and then there's perforated, not perforated, there's jagged edges just in here. And so I'll pull the washi tape and just rip it off. And I like this, it's so convenient. This is a little different. I think the concept is exactly the same. It's just, uh, it's a sloth instead. <laughs> this is making me laugh. I'm just like, I don't know why this is such a, this, is, this reminds me a little bit of this. It's like a cute idea. It's practical, but a little quirky. Um, washi tape. I'll check washi tape just before I do the pen. So let's try all this other stuff. This looks like a postcard. Oh yeah, it's like a polar bear eating watermelon postcard. And then we have a fan with letters, like a letter set inside. Let's just have a quick look. Cute little fan with some koi fish on it. And then I think this is, yeah, 
like some notes that you can write and then an envelope to send it off. And then I've just got like a pile of stuff now. And then two stickers. Oh, I really like these stickers. These are fan stickers. I love these designs. So cute. And then we've got Jimby Sun. I have so many Jimby Sun stickers, but I don't have this one. I just don't know how they have so many that I don't have, even though I feel like I collect them now. But yeah, I love this Sanex character. It's one of my favorites because I love aquatic creatures. Okay, I'm really excited about the stickers. Um, let's open this up. Okay, this is the washi tape. It's beautiful, very oriental sort of design. Butterflies, flowers. It's very pretty. But I feel like it's not super cohesive either. So when you have it out laid out, it'd be like lots and lots of different types of designs. All right, let's go try out this pen. Okay, so this is a Pentel brush sign pen. I think I have one similar to this already, just not in this color, but it's it reminds me of the um, Tombow Fudonesco pen, which um, is like a hard tip and you can use it for lettering. So let's, yeah, pretty much. And then you can write with it if you want to but I think it's mostly to do lettering. Very nailed. Cool, so that's everything in August's Zen Pop box. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching. This is Selena reporting from my room. Back to you, internet.